Hi folks. Um, right, um, I, I was doing these yesterday. We're on a video. I'll, I'll start this. I'm going to do a, my usual landscape. Uh, but um, I think to spend a bit of time doing figures, when you think of it, will repay. Mine are pretty pathetic, really, but because I don't practice them. So let's get a little bit of sand in it. I'm just these are acrylic because I was using acrylic so let's lovely pull of brushes I must I haven't seen I don't know where you get them. I, I, I don't want to buy one online because I want to, I want to feel it. It's a bit darker. So. trying to show a bit of a shadow, not shadow, um, coming forward. It's easier to do them sideways and backwards, but... Uh, Should have uh, done a bit of a better face there. Oh, let's, uh, I'll put a body in. Oops. <laughs> I don't want that one. <laughs> Hmm, worth doing. Okay, we've got some Fabriano here. And uh, I do look like some silver. What's going on there? I'll wet the paper all over. This is Fabriano, £130. This is the, the cheaper studio paper. Doesn't perform anywhere near as well, it's different, I suppose. We've used it for years, but um, the paint tends to not to soak in quite so much as the the Saunders or Winsor Newton rough papers, the ninety pound rough. <coughs> and while that's wet, we're just putting a bit of bit of sky. Red or bit of cyan. Sorry, 
nice to have a lovely day today, but it's gone all rainy now. Well, sky. Oh, well, let that go off for a bit. I'll dry it with a hair dryer. That's all I want to do for the sky. So, headphones off. Go. Just reclip it. No need to stretch the papers, just put them tight. And that is completely flat now. I'll put a bit of a background, like a sort of row of hills, there's a bit of, bit of a lizard in there. Mm, that's uh, a little bit wrong there. Right, okay, that's more or less horizontal. I'm going to put a bit of dry brush here, both sides. Um, I don't want to keep a bit of uh, bit over here. Oops. Right, that didn't work, did it? Uh, right, I'll uh, dry that. <laughs> we could we could go over that, but I'm going to put some some entry into that water so I can cover a lot of that up. I'll add some detail so that's that's a horizon there. Uh,
Right, bit of burnt sienna, bit of ultra. All right. I'm painting using a uh, uh, burnt sienna and an ultramarine, but I'm using it very thick. Just putting some nice trees in over there. Oops. That's all that's been up in there. Just cover that up and put some marshy stuff in there. Gone over that, just cover that up. There was some dark in there. Uh... In here, whoops, not yellow. I'm, I'm vamping, I'm, I'm sort of just making this up. I'm, Covering up my mistakes, really. Get some shadow in at the base of those trees. Just anchor them.
Let's see if I can just get that lump out there. Because I, I, put, I put some extra wet on there and didn't dry it properly. But uh, anyway, we're, we're getting there. Uh, Not sure I really want to put much in there. I forgot to drink my tea, so I'll have a little break. Ah, I don't like the way that's turned out. Show some of that down there. Okay, let's see if we go back over some of that there. I think I'll, I'll, I need to be a bit careful in there, so I'm going to use my that little scripts brush. I think that's what they call it. I'm just going to work my way up in, into that blue I put behind. It's getting a bit better. And my old colleague uh, Joe Menza has on his uh, YouTube site, he's uh, done a video showing how he gets out of his mistakes. Well, I'll just paint over them. Water on that brush, I will just extend this just using the burnt sienna with the ultramarine. They're great mixes. Well, I reckon that looks quite, quite good. Now, I'm not going to risk putting some dry brush on that water because that will do what it did before. It's, having said it's perfectly flat, it is now. Almost. Uh, 
maybe I should just bring these up a little bit higher so they look nearer. So I will. Just same same colours. I've got a bit of cad yellow in that as well. Ah. I reckon that looks all right. The light's coming through the middle here. <coughs> um, it's more like a pond, isn't it? A big pond, seven islands. So I said they haven't got them. all those hills and hills behind. Uh, uh, I'll put a mount on it, and we'll have a have a look. I don't know if I want to have one of my figures somewhere. I don't know where I can really. It's all marsh. Marshy Lake, Marshy Pond. Uh, I'll put my nice double mount on this. It's just a fraction too big for the paper. Oh. Just about covers. Okay, well I think that's quite a nice. Uh, we could put a little. Uh, Bird in the sky. Well, I quite, I quite like that. I just think we need maybe to put something just to block that side to keep you keep you in the picture, so to speak. So we'll put one. Should just hold us in the picture. Okay, I'm going to let that go. I'm quite pleased with that. That's a, Zoom you out. There we are. Oh, a nice calm, calm scene. Plenty of detail in that. You saw how easy it was to do that detail. It's just light against dark all the time. And if you're painting on wet in wet, as I do, uh, you need to really think juicy paint otherwise if you're too wishy-washy with it it will just disappear into the wet behind it look I'm using look, look at the colours look they're, they're, they're lovely and rich thick paint I'll share that with you I wish I've shared <laughs> 1500 times before anyway there we are. that side there didn't work out quite as big as that let's try a different mount on it uh, the dirty. Oh, that's not too dirty. That one. Try that one because that'll cover up the the bare bits. There we are. I, I'm, I should sign it, shouldn't I? Because I quite like it. Strange as it might sound. Should like your own work. Huh? Wow. 
Right, thanks for watching. I'll get this posted and post it and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.